Hi lovelies. All month long, I am sharing some of my very favorite quick and easy dinner ideas to make weeknight cooking in your house a total breeze. And today we are whipping up a batch of this amazing rustic Mediterranean chicken. And yes, it tastes just as good as it sounds. So I have to say dishes like this are my absolute favorite thing because they all come together in a single skillet or pot. Now I've got a nice big flat bottom skillet here heating up over medium high heat and I'm just going to get some oil into my skillet. I'm using some flavorless canola oil but you could use some olive oil here as well. Uh, I just wanna let my oil get nice and hot and then to that I'm going to be adding my chicken. So this is boneless, skinless chicken breast. It was actually on sale at my supermarket, so I picked up a whole bunch and froze the rest. Um, I've just cut it into one inch cubes. We're just gonna hit that with a little bit of salt and pepper, and we wanna let our chicken cook until it's nice and golden and no longer pink. Now, you could use chicken thighs in this recipe instead of chicken breast if you wanted to. You could also use something like pork here or some shrimp or even some salmon in this recipe all would hold up really, really well to the amazing Mediterranean flavors we're going to be using. It's a really versatile recipe, as most of mine are, um, so I like to give you guys lots of great options. And in just about six to eight minutes, what you're gonna end up with is this nice golden brown chicken like you see here. You wanna make sure you give it extra time to get that nice sort of golden coloring because that means a lot of great flavor has developed, and of course, that's what we want. Speaking of flavor, it is time to get some more into the pan. And I'm gonna do that by starting with some minced garlic. So I've got two cloves here. You can use a little more or a little less. Totally up to you when it comes to garlic. Um, I really love garlic, so I always use as much as my family will tolerate. Sometimes Greg will tell me that uh, it's gone a little heavy on the garlic and I know I have to dial it back a little bit. And then as soon as that garlic is nice and fragrant, after about 30 seconds, I'm going to start adding some of my very favorite Mediterranean ingredients to this. So first, I have got some artichoke hearts that have just been chopped up. Artichoke hearts are the best. You can buy them in jars marinated in oil. Those are my fave. Next, I am going to add some roasted red peppers to this, so they've got a little bit of smokiness and a little bit of sweetness. And then we're going to balance all of that out with some really beautiful salty Kalamata olives that I've just cut in half. And I've just got a couple more ingredients that I'm gonna get in here. First, I have got some fire roasted tomatoes. So these are fire roasted diced tomatoes. You buy them canned usually. I'm using one cup. I don't want this to be too tomato-y. And then I'm also going to be adding a little bit of Greek seasoning to this. I'll admit I'm using store-bought today, but I have a great recipe for homemade. If you wanna give a homemade Greek seasoning a try, it's really easy to prepare. You can make a huge batch, put it in your pantry, and save it for occasions just like this. It's so versatile. You can use it in so many different recipes. And I'm sure you can see at this point how much amazing flavor and color has already developed in this dish. There's so much to get excited about. And just to get even more wonderful nutrients and a little more color in here, I am going to be adding some kale to this. You could also do this with spinach if you wanted to. I will be honest, I am using some frozen kale here. There is nothing more convenient than frozen kale. I personally really dislike stemming kale. It's one of my least favorite kitchen jobs. I've said it before on the channel, I will say it again. Stemming kale is just not a lot of fun, which is why frozen is such a great alternative because it comes already stemmed and already chopped up. So I'm just gonna get my frozen kale in. If you wanna use fresh, of course, you definitely, definitely can do that. And I'm gonna stir that in and it's just gonna take another one to two minutes for that kale to get heated through. And holy smokes, guys, you have got a dinner that you can feel incredible about. Beautiful Mediterranean flavors that the whole family will love. Now, you can enjoy this just as it is, or you can serve it on rice like I'm doing. My daughter Elle absolutely loves rice, so we basically eat it with everything. If you wanted to keep this low carb, you could serve it up over some cauliflower rice. That would be really good or you could pour all of this tastiness over a big plate of pasta and that would be absolutely delicious. So you've got tons of great options. I really hope you guys will give this recipe a try. I think you'll absolutely love it. And of course, if you do give it a try, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. 
Remember, this recipe, like all our recipes, are featured on HealthyMealPlans.com and also linked in the description box below. If you haven't checked out HealthyMealPlans.com, I really hope you will. It's our amazing meal planning site. It allows you to browse through more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your shopping list for you so that you can take it straight to the grocery store. How amazing is that? Finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.